What's going on, guys? Oh, man. Ah, it is like four in the morning right now before I get rolling. But, little story for the morning because it has been one hell of a week. And I mean one hell of a week. And at the Red Bull. So, yeah. Like, literally, I'm, okay, so I get to my customer, I get to them on Wednesday, get there, get loaded, everything's great, seems like it's all great, get scaled in Oakland, I'm overweight, go back, tries to tell me, oh, you need to slide your fifth wheel more, no, I'm over, I will be overweight, if I slide my fifth wheel, I'll be overweight. Starts arguing with me and this and that and saying, if I take a pallet off, I want to be he- I, it's going to be heavy in the back. I'm like, no, one pallet. Take one pallet, two to 2,200 pounds, because 1,050 kilograms is right about 22, 2,300 pounds. And you just take one pallet. I think they had three singles in the front, which who in the bright mind would do three singles in the front so they rework the load go get scaled again and ain't shaming you they did the complete opposite of what I said literally the complete opposite oh sorry not sure what's in stuck up in my throat, but, um, yeah, so, I was 35,000 pounds on the drives, they took that 35,000 pounds, put it on the trailer, then, they put my 32,000 pound on the trailer onto my drives, how can you say you, you know what you're doing, when you're not even the guy loading the trailer, literally, the dude was not even loading the trailer and saying, I know what I'm doing. I've been doing this for so long. So you do it. And so I get scaled again. They, Like I said, they took the, all the weight from the front, put it to the back. Complete opposite of what I was telling them to do. And I'm trying to tell this guy, you know, how to do his job. And he's like, I've been doing this for 20 years, and blah, blah, blah. Apparently, you don't know what you're doing. For real. And I know what I'm doing. So eventually with my company, thankfully they're, you know, for the driver. And my dispatcher is all, you know, thank you for doing your job. Not getting in a pissy fight. Excuse me. Because apparently... At this location, there were people that got in a pissy fight and got in fights, got people fired and blah, blah, blah. You know, just load my crap. Load my shit. That's all I ask. Load my stuff. That's it. That's all I ask. So, um, I get back there. A day later comes by. The next morning, about 10 o'clock, I get an email saying, go ahead and go see the shipper. They're going to remove a pallet. When all they had to do was take one pallet, put it to the front. In the beginning, one pallet, put it to the back. And, oh, they were not happy. They were not happy. They were like, "You, you got a bunch of people pissed off here and blah, 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 blah. You're not welcome back. Tell your dispatcher and this and that. Tell your company. And I'm like, you know, I'm already one step ahead of you. Throughout the whole deal, I already told them I'm not coming back. Now that I'm banned, absolutely not coming back. So, long story short, you know, all because they couldn't do their job. And I've been doing this since 2015. Even though I took a year off from truck driving, I still know how to load my weight. 
I just don't know how to correctly load a WIT trailer. And I was to the point of telling him, let me get in that forklift. Let me load that trailer. So, yeah. I go get scaled, go down there, and I'm like, wahoo, I am 33,000 pounds. Their weight was off. But yet, they've been doing this for 20 years, and they have no issue with this. But their weight's off. Please explain that to me. Like, have you ever been to a shipper that told you never to come back? You know? That's a first for me. And you know what? I am kind of happy because it was such a cluster. I had a park in Oakland. I had a park on the street in front of their customer. And it was just a bunch of cluster. And my dispatch was like, thank you for not getting pissed off, yelling, screaming. You know, it ain't going to get you nowhere. If I don't want to come back there, just tell them. But thankfully, they said don't come back. That you're not welcome. You know, that's fine with me because... I'd rather not go into California if I don't have to. So, that is the moral moral of the story for today. And, of course, on Monday, I got put out of service from California, CHP, because for some reason my light didn't go on, and for some reason I didn't hear anything go off, I had a blowout. On my tire, on my trailer, and the tread was there, like the the tire was still there, but the tread of the grooves of the tire that the grooves that go along on the on the road, on the pavement, that was all ripped off. Now, mind you, I don't know how that how that happened at all, but it did happen. The airline broke off on the axle going into the axle to inflate the tires so I got put out of service for a fix a ticket until they fixed it two hours I can't complain they did really good I was surprised because if it was night I would have been there probably for about four to six hours so I definitely give the company some props for all that and let me know if you ever been banned Leave a comment down below. Where have you been told not to come back? Y'all be safe. Time to get rolling here soon and uh, go eastbound.